Hey, hello everyone. It's Sean back with you today on Three String Jams. Got a song for you today that we'll call the Campfire Edition or version of this song. Uh, it's Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Uh, this was on, I think, their 2004 release that was called American Idiot. Uh, very popular, big release for the band at that time. The song's not too bad to pull off. We'll go through the basics of playing uh, the verse, the chords that you need. We'll also look at uh, the chorus on this. And I'm not even going to plug into an amp right now. Uh, we'll just play this with the guitar in front of us like you were playing with a group of friends or something. Uh, go through the chords for it. And uh, there's four chords that you'll need to know for the verse. Um, also for the chorus, you've got four chords that you, that you will use for part of it and one that you have to throw in at the end too that I'll show how to make. Uh, but we'll go through this. The first four chords that you need for this. And I'll add that we are tuned in open G. So it means that our low string is tuned in G. Middle string is tuned in D. High string is tuned in G. And you know, just strumming all three strings gives us that G chord. That's a standard tuning that most people used to play with a cigar box guitar, so that's what we'll stick with with this song. Uh, we got four chords that we need for uh, four chords that we need for the verse. We first have an E minor, we have an open G chord, we have a D, and we have an A. Okay, get a little closer. These are made. To make an E minor, you put your pointer finger on your middle D string at the second fret, right here. Ring finger up here on the low string at the fourth. Pinky and middle finger are not touching any strings at all. If you were to place this pinky on the high string with the others, that would make your E. But we need an E minor. So if you remove your pinky, Hear how that bottom string will ring out? So we've got an E minor that moves to just an open G. To a D, which is made, some people make this by placing your middle finger on the low string at the second fret, with your ring finger on the high string at the second fret. Now I also make it this way most of the time. I'll use my thumb to hold down this low string at the second and my pointer finger to hold down the high string at the second. Same sound. Reason for this, sometimes if I've gotten in a hurry with a big change and I try to make it with my middle finger on the low string and ring on the high string, I end up turning it into an octave. And I do that because my middle finger gets in the way and often mutes this middle string. So when you hear it, Hear how that middle string is muted? So that sounds like a song by the Strokes when you hear it that way. But uh, you want that middle string to ring out. So I often use my thumb and pointer finger to make that D. Then A is just simply made by barring all the strings at the second fret. I often use my middle finger to do this. So if you see me doing that, that's what it is. Uh, it's just been easier for me to adjust that way. Uh, I can use my pointer finger, but I just got in the habit of using my middle most of the time. If it's just barring all three strings for a chord, so that's kind of what we'll stick with. But for your strumming pattern, we'll play those notes just once so you hear them. E minor, open, D, A. Strumming pattern. I'm going down, 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 down it. Down, 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 down it. Down, 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 down it. There's your four chords. That's that's all you gotta do for the verse. Down, 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 down it.
You can do that before you switch to the chorus. You can keep this same strumming pattern during the chorus that I show you. Uh, you notice when I got to that A, I just kind of went, kind of does that on the song, or I could have just kept the same pattern. Went into the chorus. Now for the chorus, we're going to need a C. Open. D. Back to an E minor. Now, I'm making the C here at the 5th fret. You're barring all the strings here at the 5th to make the C. We of course cover the open. I'm making the D this time down here at the 7th barring all the strings at the 7th fret to make a D. I could very well stay up here on the 2nd like we did. Um, I like the tone of D down here at the 7th on this song. And then of course we move back to the E minor. You can keep the same strumming pattern or you can do all down strokes. If I did all down strokes it would sound like this. Okay, or I can keep the same strumming pattern that we did. change. When you get to the last part before you go back into the verse, it is a B seventh on that last note that sounds like this. I have a hard time hitting this correctly sometimes. It's made by putting your pointer finger at the high string on the second fret, your middle fingers on the low string at the fourth, and your ring finger is on the middle string at the fourth. That is your B seventh. Just show you how to go into it. Okay. So that last time around, you don't hit the D, it goes C, G, B, 7th. Okay, let's play through it together. Remember, verse, we had E minor, open, D, A. Chorus, C, open, D, E minor. Kind of go through the flow of the song. song that's got the verse the chorus that's everything something I need to practice I'm not that great of a player myself it's going from that C to G to B seventh sounds good right away when you hit it here I kind of muted there for a second I've got to work on uh, hitting that chord better myself but this is not too complicated of a song to get the rhythm down and play like I say, this is a good one to play just sitting around, not hooked into an amplifier. Uh, pretty quick song to pick up. But uh, I appreciate everybody for watching some of the tutorials and videos that I have. Thought I'd just do a quick one with this today. 
If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to try to have more content coming your way. Actually going to try to have a couple Nirvana songs coming up this week. Uh, later on too, so we'll get into that later. Uh, if there's anything you might like to see, uh, leave a comment. I'll try my best to pick it up or get that played for you. But uh, everybody just keep having fun. Uh, never knew how much I was going to enjoy this when I started playing the cigar box guitar. Not been at it too long, but uh, it's definitely a fun hobby, definitely something fun to play. Uh, but as I mentioned, we'll get some more videos up later this week. Everybody have a good day, and we'll see you again.